Hi, I'm Callista Redmond, and thank you for watching uh, Careers here at Risk Five. You know, I'm going to start on a slightly different note in thinking about holistically about careers, and I'd like to share with you a few thoughts, ten thoughts actually, on how to get yourself into the spotlight. Now, of course, the spotlight has a, a few different um, settings. It's both a limelight and a heat lamp. So buckle up if you're stepping into the light because it can be the best of times and it can also bring about challenges. And those challenges are formative. Those are the challenges that make you and build your career and accelerate you into uh, your next move. So let's get started. 10 thoughts. First, I think it's fundamental that you're able to match your career with things you're passionate about. For me, I've always wanted to change the world in some meaningful way, and so I chose organizations that acted on that level. Maybe you'd like to act more on a local level and more in an industry or more in a specific technology. Match your career with your passion. It is amazing the energy that you bring to your role that then permeates the others in the organization. And this can be so much, this, this makes your job so much more fun if you go to work each day filled with passion for what you're pursuing. Second, choose a company you believe in. You know, it's very important that you understand what are their core values. Are they financially driven? Are they socially driven? Are they trying to push the state of the art? Are they trying to innovate? Or are they trying to satisfy mass need that we've had for a long time. And in that company, in that culture, woven into those core values, you will see their culture. And a, a culture where everyone is treated as equals, as, as the folks around you are your colleagues that you can lean on and they can lean on you. It starts to create a beautiful relationship. And that culture of colleagues may look different depending on what the org chart looks like, but look at those role models, those examples, and how do they interact with one another. Think about roles with high visibility. Think about how can you show your best work in front of key executives, key decision makers? What can you bring to the table that will help the business, that will help you, that will help your career, that will help the overall mission of the organization you join? And if you step into that growth part of the business, think about what you're doing to engage and, and cultivate your relationships with colleagues at all levels, not just stepping into that limelight, but also engaging with those key executives. Because you know what? At the end of the day, everyone counts. Everyone counts in tremendous amounts. Fourth. Look for stretch assignments. Think about how do you expand the impact that you're able to make above and beyond your role. Of course, get your job done. I mean, that's position number one. You need to start with a solid understanding of what is the role you're engaging in. And then think about, like, how can you grow that role? Oftentimes in technology, we look for how can I get rid of the mundane parts of my job? How can I program myself out of these everyday tasks that are taking too much of my time. Use that time wisely to look for opportunities to go the extra mile and, of course, the extra mile for things you're passionate about. Solve problems that matter. Think holistically. What is the issue? What is the goal? What are you trying to get at? What are you trying to solve? And think about that in a holistic sense, in a strategic sense, in, in a broader sense. Like, who matters to the, what you're working on beyond the doors of your company. Think about that and think about it in ways that you can bring your team with you. Engage everyone around you. Build a deep network. This is both engaging with your colleagues as well as making new friends and building new relationships outside of your organization. When you contribute to the success of others, I promise it'll come back to you. You will establish and cement your reputation for the success you bring holistically and to the relationships you forge. Be the one they can trust, the one they can count on, the one they see going the extra mile. 
and about role models. Emulate the behaviors, the strategies, the actions, the tactics, whether it's how to manage your inbox or how to speak on a stage. Emulate the role models that you see around you. And by the way, those leadership traits and those best practices and best habits don't just come from the leaders of an organization. In fact, we all have so much to learn from one another. So look at those traits, those habits, those things that you see in others and start to build them into your own version of yourself and bring that to work each day. Build authority, build leadership, lead anything. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's the company picnic. Maybe it's the next strategy to, you know, land the next risk five chip on Mars. It doesn't matter. Lead something, figure out what it is to create at your job, step out and beyond that to lead something. Reflect. Reflect often. Think about what's working, what's not working, what can we do better, how can we solve something better together. Learn how to articulate that and collaborate with your peers and colleagues around you. That actual collaboration is what is going to forge trust and responsibility in the relationships that you build at work each day. It's important in that context to make sure all the voices are being heard. Is there someone that, you know, probably has a meaningful point of view that we haven't heard from yet? Maybe they're in the room or maybe they're outside of the room and we should engage them. Who does it matter to? And make sure that they're also engaged. Look for those opinions. Look for those spaces to create for others to be heard. Finally, be humble. Be the uh, role that others look up to, others look to. It doesn't need to be a hierarchical relationship. Be the, the one that folks can count on. Think about how in your role, no matter where it is in the organization, how are you lifting others up? How are you lifting up the organization? How are you pursuing the, the next steps forward for the business? How are you able to lift others up? Sometimes that's through that collaboration that we've been talking about. So those are my 10 thoughts of the day. Now, I've got a bonus round, a bonus round on why engage in the open community. You know, for decades, we've been talking about open source software. In fact, the statistics you see on this page are mind blowing. These numbers, you know, we have to use shorthand. They're in millions and billions and hundreds of thousands. The impact is global. The workloads that ride on top of open source today are profound and critical. The financial systems, the airline systems, many different systems that we rely on for our everyday life are dependent on some level on open source. That is a powerful community to become a part of. This is an area that is high in demand. More than 90% of employers are looking for folks who know how to collaborate, collaborate outside of the organization into these communities. And there's a place there for every one of us to build our careers, to build eminence, to build our reputations as great collaborators. That frontier of open collaboration makes massive differences to business. You know, four times the return of every dollar put in is reaping huge rewards. In Europe, they said, you know, European companies invested a billion dollars in open source software in 2018. This in economic impact was estimated between 65 and $95 billion. That, that, there's a huge cost benefit ratio going on here. And that's, you know, money matters. How you spend your time and effort matters and where you can collaborate on shared base building blocks as a community allows organizations, companies to build differentiation, innovation on top of and around that, that matters to the world and that matters to the business as well. Those incremental and additive uh, value that comes on top is tremendously powerful and takes lots of investment and lots of engineers to bring to fruition. And you can be part of that, whether you're in engineering or marketing or any other facet of the business, you can have impact there. In fact, we're looking for more and more help all the time. And now that we see that 
you know, that idea coming into open hardware, risk five is really at the center of that. The growth charts that we see on the predictions of where this is going to be in the next few years are off the charts. Right now we are on track and have been tracking steadily towards, you know, 80 billion risk five CPU cores by 2025. This reality is here today. In fact, we're seeing uh, us on track to be 10% of automotive CPUs, 28% of IoT. This is bridging not only in embedded and small devices, but all the way through to enterprise. This is the time. We are changing the course of history with Risk Five, and there has never been a brighter time and never been more demand for folks who want to engage in the Risk Five world. In fact, this is happening already today. More than nearly 25% of all CPU designs today already incorporate Risk Five. So think about the different industries that are interesting to you. Is it automotive? Is it data center? Is it AI and ML, which seem to be in everything, possibly even my toothbrush. Um, but think about how fast this market is growing. Remember that helpful tip on go where the growth segments are? You can't go wrong with risk five. So as you think about your career, as you think about the massive opportunities around us, build risk five into your company strategy, into your team mission, and into your personal career. There's never been a brighter time, and I promise you will make friends with the brightest that are driving this industry forward. And this is a fundamental accelerator to your career. You will be shoulder to shoulder with the folks who are changing the world and changing technology for generations to come. So thank you. I appreciate your time today. You're welcome to connect with me. Hey, here's a QR code. That's something I didn't have before. I used to just have business cards, but connect with me. Follow us, join us, and I look forward to meeting you in the community.